top access how to set up scan to email from the top access of our Toshiba copiers to log in first you need to go into the administration mode log into the copier one two three five six log in once you're in here again you are in an interface okay. top access how to set up scan to email from our top access now you need to log in again to our top access again you must have the IP address of the copier log into the interface once you're here click on the administration tab log in with the password one two three four five six log in once you're here the first step you need to do to set up your scan to email click on the email link here you must set up an email account here now this particular email will be if you are using exchange 2003 it does not have to be a legit email your IT will, will know that information now if your IT uh, is using exchange 2007 or 2010 this email must be a legit email it must be valid again 2003 doesn't care 2007 2010 exchange it does so again that's, inf that's an information your IT department will have but an email will go here and the front name will be actually will be the name either of the company or where this email is going to be coming from so the users know who they're getting this email from I went ahead and used that now the next step is basically everything else stays by default I like to go ahead on the numbers of retry I like to change this to number to put it down to a zero it, this way just makes it if there's an error it makes the error come up much quicker uh, so I'll go ahead and set this to number zero and pretty much it's up to you if you want to put a body on the email that goes out for every single email you can put a, a message here depending what you want to tell the users that this email is coming from a copier but it's up to you if you like to do that once that's that's the first step we want to set up click on save click OK now the next step to set up the scan to email so the, the copier works you gotta go into the, your network settings right below setup you have a link so you got all these settings now the next step is basically it's gonna be uh, we do like to set up the DNS session these again these are numbers you are IT department will have you need to input your DNS IP addresses so when you click on DNS session click on the icon make sure these DNS address IP address are here and again your IT department will have that information once that's done click OK OK again within the same window go ahead and scroll down now to set up the scan to email you're gonna look for this option you need the SNTP client again look for the SNTP client click on the icon another window opens up now these are your settings that again your IT department will have how you scan into your email through your email server at your company uh, basically you know uh, the SNTP client will be enabled it's depending on your network how set up then your IT will know if you're using SSL most of the time you're not it will be disabled but that's something you might want to ask your IT department now SSL also this will work on, with this particular option and this option work they will work pretty much together but most of the time these two options are disabled now the SNTP server address will be the name of the server or the IP address where the, where the your email exchange server resides so again this is your email server name or the IP address of that email server once you put that information here the pop before SNTP we always keep that is disabled we do not turn this feature on we leave it disabled authentication now it's up your IT will know if you are authenticating if you are using 2003 I've seen it where the disable option it pretty much w it will work so pretty much if you like just start with the disable option leave it disabled and you could test it out now port this information again your IT will have and the machine here and the maximum email it will actually tell this our Toshiba copies will go up to 30 megabytes so you're able to scan through the copier and send emails out now again you need the email server address here from your exchange and start with the disable authentication option see if that works that doesn't work you can always come back to the SNTP client put it to login and you must use a username and password here and here username and password if you use the login option I know we're using a 
not using using a 2000 exchange uh, authentication is disabled so we're good at that once you get this configuration uh, click OK OK again and you're pretty much done click on save and it will save the settings another thing about your SNTP client if you are using authentication uh, and for some reason your scan to email is not working all of a sudden the one of the reasons it could be because uh, if you are logging in and you are using a username and there is a password here most likely this password has been changed uh, either your IT support or someone came for that particular account that's using you need to find out hey what happened to this account I need to know what's the new password you need most likely this password needs to be changed and that needs to be saved again if you are using an account if you're not using an account you should be okay but the account if for some reason one day you come in to work the scan to email is not working look at this make sure the email the the password is correct and the account is also correct and make those necessary changes now again if your email once you get those settings saved uh, you click on save click OK it will pretty much save the settings once that's done the machine will the NIC car on the machine will start uh, it will reboot it will take about 45 seconds to a minute and you can go ahead and give it a test run see if that works now keep in mind if your scan to emails are failing you can always go to the lo logs tab up here click on logs click on the link that says scan and pretty much you can get to see if your scan to, scan to email are working or not on this particular machine they are again <coughs> scan to email options to set it up administration email get your information in here and put this to zero go back to your network settings click on DNS get the IP address for your DNS settings here and then go down look for the SNTP client and get the information from your IT support you need the email exchange server information here plus the, if you are authenticating or not it's up to depend the IT will know that information that's how you set up your scan to email on from the top access for the Toshiba copiers